go. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this, this is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice. This is the place that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the place. This is the place that the Lord has made. This is the group. This is the group. This is the group that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. For this is the group that the Lord has made. This is the groove, this is the groove that the Lord has God's not dead, God's not dead, He is alive, God's not dead, He is alive, God's not dead, He is alive, I can feel it all over in my head, in my feet, in the air, everywhere, in the church, the streets, all over me. Yeah. Is God dead? No, 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 no. God's not dead. He is alive. God's not dead. He is alive. God's not dead. He is alive. I can feel it in my heart. In my head. In my head. In my feet. In the air. Everywhere. In the church. In the streets. All over me. Is God alive? Yes, 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 yes. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive forever. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive. Oh, hi. Why again? <laughs> Hallelujah. Why? It's Friday. It's a good opportunity to show that Jesus is alive. How is that? Well, hallelujah. If we can respond to his call. We can gather together because of a covenant he made with us. What is that covenant he made with us? That when we gather in his name, he will be with us. If there's any blessing that we can expect today, tonight, or time, whatever time you have in your place, hallelujah, it's God's presence. Hallelujah. And we, when we are in God's presence, hallelujah, He brings us into His glory. In the glory belongs to God alone. No? We don't deserve any kind of glory. But... Um, we're, 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 we're being given the opportunity to give glory to God. Not, not, not that because glory comes from us, but because uh, whatever we do, is particularly when we respond to His presence, hallelujah, His glory is manifested. Now, how, how, how does that happen, that you respond to His presence? Well, you're conscious of that presence. Hallelujah. You're, you're very conscious, so aware that you're here because of Him. 
you open up that YouTube, you open up that Wi-Fi, and uh, hallelujah, what do you call this? Tune in into this prayer meeting because you know that it is God who will be here. It is God who will be given the glory. It is God who will bring us into His glory to be part of the glory of the Lord. Oh, the glory of your presence. We, your temple, give you reverence. Everybody, come and ride. Come. that happen? Hallelujah. I, I mentioned this already a while ago because of a covenant He made with us that when we praise Him, we worship Him, He will be with us. Set as King David has taught us, pronounced to the world that God dwells in the praises of His people. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, and so, uh, so we continue to worship God, and it's Friday is uh, a great opportunity for have for us to have an appointment with the Lord. Uh, Friday is God's day, you know, uh, before Sunday. Sunday is resurrection, but it was on a Friday that God gave His life for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, on Sunday, he conquered death, of course, and lived again. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, uh, you know, one of the things that I uh, uh, really um, admire, or rather, um, uh, Laya, rather, um, wh why I, I stuck it out with the charismatic movement. Hindi rin ako nung araw, nung hindi pa ako charismatic. Pinagtatawanan ko rin ng charismatic eh. 
Akala ko puro Alleluia lang eh Then, But uh, when I discovered that The charismatic movement Of the church Is meant To make us holy The goal is holiness Sabi nga ni St. Paul Desire for the gifts Charismatic gifted But make sure Better make sure that the goal Is the fruit of the Spirit Which is what? The character of God Which is what? The holiness of God And so Uh, what I like so much in our movement is that um, worship is holiness. No, worship is not kneeling down, raising your hands, singing. No, no. <laughs> you know, singing makes us, hallelujah, gaze, gaze into the loveliness of God. No. Singing makes us up close and personal to God, then we begin to look at His holiness in an up close and so personal distance. Not far. He is in us. Hallelujah. And when we sing, We have a proximity. He is within arm's reach. He is in our heart. Hallelujah. Amen. I live is to worship you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus Christ. You know, um, um, on the topic on worship, we, there is always a necessity to be reminded that worship is indeed holiness. You know, Adam and Eve was complete, had a life that is full because they were image and likeness of God. Because they have the holiness of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that's what they lost when they rejected God, rebelled against God. They lost that fullness that comes 
that comes from holiness. But God came down from heaven to earth, sabi nga nung ating kanta, you know, precisely to give us hope. And what is hope? Tagalog, pag-asa. May gagamit lang natin pagka may problema, mabigat, pinakaya. Kamawala ng pag-asa. May ganun eh. <laughs> Pero ano ba talaga ang pag-asa? Ang pag-asa kasi ay buhay. Buhay na walang hanggan. Buhay na ganap. Yan ang pag-asa. Ano? Mamatay. Mabubuhay ulit. Oh, yan ang tugatog ng pag-asa. <laughs> Pero gamitin natin yung pag-asa na yan, yung hope in our daily life. You know, how do you know if you are a hopeful person? Nababanggit ko nga po palagi, when God said nothing is impossible, He was simply declaring there is no such thing as a hopeless situation. Oo nga naman. No. Yun ang reading natin ngayon. Eh. Na sabi ng isang may sakit, kung gusto mo Lord, mapapagaling mo ko. <laughs> sabi naman ni Lord, gusto ko. <laughs> That's why I came down here for, to give you hope. You know? So hope lies eternal. Hope is not uh, limited to getting what you want. Hope is not limited into uh, answered prayers or even miracles. No? It's beyond that. Hallelujah. It's beyond that. Uh, hope is saying that all things will work for your good. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Work for your good. All things, whatever is going on in your life, bad things or good things or ugly things, painful things, blessings, material, whatever, anything, you know, can work for your salvation. Even sin. Paano yun? How can sin work for my salvation? Aba eh, kung ikaw ay makukonvict. And then, uh, hallelujah, make a decision to um, be free from that sin. Hallelujah. Then it worked for your salvation. And that is hope found in Romans 8.28. All things work for the good of those who love God. You see, when you love God, it's not being free from bad things. When you love God, even bad things, God can use to make you a better person. Ulitin ko, kasama ba doon ang kasalanan? Opo. Kung ikaw ay magsisisi, uh, talaga naman nagdidesisyon ka na, na gusto, ayaw mo na, lumay, gusto mo nang lumaya sa kasalanan na yan. Hallelujah. Ano ang bunga niyan? <laughs> Patungo sa kabanalan niyan. Hindi lang, hindi lang iwas kasalanan. <laughs> so, ulitin ko, what is hope again? Hope is beyond answered prayers. Beyond getting what you want. Oh, it's beyond that. Hope is God. All things will work for your salvation. When you love God. Hallelujah. For all you've done, for all you're going to do, we give you thanks and we lift our praise to you. Say it. We give thanks. We give praise. For our good, we give pray, for my faith, we know your grace, we see us, we see us.
sa atin. And that includes me. But, come on. You know, <laughs> you know uh, there's a problem, there's something to be afraid of. You know, uh, and you start entertaining that maybe God is not there listening or minding you. Those are the things that make you doubt and then fear starts to come in. But that's why we need to sing on Fridays, you know, diba? For by faith, you know, yeah. We know your grace will see us through. <laughs> what will see us through? Grace alone. Meaning what? There's nothing you and I can do. There's nothing you and I can do. <laughs> Hallelujah. But uh, sabi nga natin kanina, for by faith, we know your grace will see us through. <laughs> Why are we so sure of that? Well, because the Holy Spirit dwells in our heart. Kung ikaw ay binyagan, hindi na mawawala yung Holy Spirit dyan. All you have to do is allow this Holy Spirit to work, to manifest, to take over, take control. Holy na eh. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Pagbigyan mo, bigyan mo ng pagkakataon, maghari sa buhay mo, Parang ulan na bubuhos ang biyaya. Hallelujah. Di ba yan ang sinasabi ni Saint, ni Isaiah? The word of God is like rain. Si Jesus, sinasabi din yun. Pero iba naman. The Holy Spirit is the life-giving water. Oh. Hallelujah. Ano na nga ba? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, water, or Word of God, water, like rain. 
Simply means, iisa yun eh. <laughs> iisa yun. When you call the Holy Spirit to rain down, parang sinasabi mo, come, Word of God, rain down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Iisa yun eh. You know, the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, iisa. That's why it created the universe. Sabi po, in the beginning, there was nothing. There was all darkness. Until the Holy Spirit speak out the words, Let there be light. Hallelujah. And that light, when Jesus came, sabi niya, I am the light. Kasi darkness took control of the world when Adam and Eve rejected God. Darkness, hallelujah, engulfed the world. And so Jesus comes bringing rain, bringing water, bringing light. Hallelujah. Let us honor that God as we sing Holy Spirit rain down rain Hallelujah. 
that the word of God is like rain. Pagka bumuhos daw yung ulan, it waters the plants. And the plants, hallelujah, um, bear fruits. And then it produces oxygen by virtue of photosynthesis. And then that, that oxygen occupies the atmosphere. Hallelujah. May binabanggit nga tayo eh. The Holy Spirit is in the oxygen that we breathe in and out. Bakit? Wow! God occupies space. He is not controlled by space. God is the space is everywhere. Hallelujah. And so he's in the oxygen that the trees produces. And then that oxygen goes up to the skies and uh, accum accumulate into clouds. Uh, if I still remember my science correct, and then it forms a cumulus. And then it uh, becomes rain again and it comes down again. What a cycle, you know. It comes down, that rain, and then waters the plants, and then produces fruit, and then produces oxygen, and then that oxygen goes into the atmosphere, and then in the atmosphere, it uh, accumulates into clouds, and then it becomes rain, and it goes back again. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. It goes into your heart. It comes out into your lips. Hallelujah. It blesses others and brings it back into your ears. And from your ears, it goes into your heart. And you only think of, and then you will spring out the words from your lips. And then, hallelujah, you will hear the word that you said. Which will, oh God, I don't know how these things really work. And let's ask the Holy Spirit. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to have His way. Fill our hearts with His words. <laughs> Praise Him. Speak your words into our hearts. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached, did him homage and said, Lord if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one. But go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. The Gospel we read is about healing, but there is a, some kind of a peculiar um, way that this leper encountered Jesus. Bakit? Iba yung salita niya. Iba yung petition niya. Pag tinagalog mo, Hindi mo maintindihan kung nag, nakikiusap ba, nagdi-demand ba, naghahamon ba, o nagtetesting ba, o hallelujah, nangumutya ba. Hindi mo ma, mawari. Sabi niya, Lord, kung gusto mo, mapapagaling mo ko. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Ano? Nakapagdasal na ba kayo ng ganyan? Ano? Uh, ang ibig sabihin nun, hindi mo lang sinusundan, hindi mo lang sinusundan, pero ma, uh, kumbaga, ang dapat nakasunod nun, pero kung ayaw mo, di wag. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> ano? <laughs> ano mo, na, meron na ako na, nakwento ko ito, three or four sa Fridays ago yata sa inyo. May nagpa-pray over sa akin sa Cebu. Sabi niya, brother, Pray over mo nga ako na kasi nag apply kami ng US visa. Oh, ano pray natin? Uh, para mabigyan ka ng visa. Sige, halika, halika. Mabayit ang Diyos, sabi ko naman. <laughs> Praise be to God. Oh, Brad, sabihin mo kay Lord. Oh, hallelujah. No? Mukhang inuutusan na pa ako. Ha? Ako pa magiging uh, utusan niya. Eh. Ano? Ano? Pakisabi mo kay Lord. Pag pinray mo ko, Lord, sabihin mo, kung gusto mo, <clears throat> kung ayon sa plano mo, sabi niya, sabihin mo kay Lord, bigyan kami ng visa. <laughs> Alam, buong pamilya eh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tapos, ah, ang tawag dito. Pero kung ayaw niya, Sabihin mo sa kanya, huwag kaming bigyan ng visa. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> ano? Kulang na lang sabihin ko sa kanya, ba't di ka na lang dumirekta? Nagpapapray over ka pa sa akin, eh, dinidikta mo naman yung prayer. <laughs> hallelujah. But, uh, hallelujah. He, he was probably invoking intercessory. You know, when you go through intercessory, ask Mama Mary to pray for you, as the apostles, the saints to pray for you, as another person, as the uh, intercessory ministry to pray for you, as the healing ministry to pray for you. I, I, I think that is a manifestation of humility. You know, that you are unworthy. 
that the uh, hallelujah in it in your feeling of unworthiness you are asking somebody to pray for you hallelujah uh, is that a necessary is that a requirement for answered prayers no you and diluyan, ilang beses na tayong dumidirekta lang naman tayo ng prayer, di ba? Hallelujah. Ano, dumidirekta lang naman tayo ng prayer. Pero kasi, kasi alam natin yung the principle of salvation ni Lord, you know, that Jesus Himself is the great intercessor. No? no? He is the one interceding for us. Para bang ang intercession ni Lord is that sabot ko kayo. Tatay ko yan eh. Dadalhin ko kayo sa tatay ko. Kasi, yun ang utos ng tatay ko. Yun ang sinasabi ni Lord, di ba? I am, I come to do the will of my father. And what is that? To save mankind. No, kaya, uh, dumulog kayo sa akin. Uh, hallelujah. And then, uh, dadalhin ko kayo sa aking ama. And then, when you obey my words, sabi ni Jesus, you obey my commands. Sabi ni Jesus, I and my Father will dwell in you. Mali na yun sa Romans 14. Eh, Matthew 14. Ano yun? Ah, sorry. Sana ba? Senior na po. John 14. If you obey my commands, sabi niya, I and my Father will dwell in you. Hallelujah. My commands. Ingat lang tayo pag narinig natin yung salitang command. Eh, ang iniisip natin palagi is that utos ito, pag hindi mo sinagot, lagot. Pag hindi mo sinunod, lagot ka. <laughs> no? Teka mo muna eh. Bakit may takutan? <laughs> ano? Kaya nga po, uh, noong isang araw lang, nagbabasa na naman ako, may nabasa na naman ako, isang pare. Sabi ng pare, uh, yun daw, chain letters. Chain texts. <laughs> chain messages. Ano, gawin mo ito, siyam na beses. Pag ginawa mo, magkakabiyaya ka. Pag hindi mo ginawa, mamamatay ka. <laughs> sabi, niya, sabi niya, that is an insult to God. God cannot be like that. He gives you a formula. If you do not follow that formula, He will kill you. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> Pag sinunod mo naman yung formula, He will bless you. Ano, wala nang pinag-uusapan. Wala nang pinag-uusapan. Hindi na pinag-uusapan doon yung kabanalan ba, kalooban ba ng Diyos. Ang kailangan din na formula lang. Eh, diba? Gawin mo ito ng siyam na araw. Ipasa mo ito sa siyam na tao. Tapos pag hindi mo pinasa, lagot ka. Ano? Mamamatay ka, magkakasakit ka. Wow. Hallelujah. Anong klaseng Diyos yun? Anong klaseng relationship yun? Ni hindi man lang nababagit. Uulitin ko ang kaharian ng Diyos, na ang kabanalan ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Ang layunin ng kabanalan, ang layunin ng kaligtasan. Oh God, wala na no, minabanggit doon eh. No? Praise be to God. Ang binabanggit lang doon is a formula. And according to that priest, which I agree, sabi niya, that is an insult to God. That is the greatest lie that can be inflicted upon God. Of what? People, of misleading people to the truth. The truth is Jesus. When you do those things, no, chain letters, chain texts, chain messages, no, chain, chain forward. Hallelujah. That is an insult to God. That nullifies the cross. Nullifies the teachings of discipleship. Hallelujah. Hello. So, balikan natin. Balikan natin yung uh, pray over. <laughs> sa akin, uh, 
Because Cebu, sabihin mo kay Lord, bread. Tapos maya maya, kinuwento na niya sa akin. Sabi niya, alam mo, Brad, nag-apply ako ng trabaho as a branch, as a branch manager of a bank in America. Sabi ko, ha? May opening bang ganun? Hindi, nakita ko lang. Nakita ko lang sa classified ads ng uh, a, an American newspaper. O oh, anong ginawa mo? in ko. Sabi ko, Lord, gusto mo ba ito? <laughs> Saan nag-apply siya? Siya ay assistant manager ng maliit na bangko dito sa, sa Cebu. <laughs> nag-apply siya. Tapos nung siya ay uh, uh, tinatanggap namin, uh, pinapa-exam, nag-exam, tinanggap. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Nagbigay siya ng kondisyon. <laughs> Sabi niya, I can only go if I will go with my family. If my family stays, I will not go. Oh, sabi ko, ginawa mo yan? Opo. Sabi ko, ayaw ko ma wa mawalay sa pamilya ko. Eh. Sabi niya, ang galing mo naman. Tapos ano ngayon? Ano ngayon? E di nag-apply na kami ng visa. Tapos uh, hindi pa rin ako sigurado kung plano ni Lord to. Hindi ka pa sigurado. Nag-apply ka na. Natanggap ka na. Tapos pumayag na na yung buong pamilya mo ay uh, uh, ipapadala doon. Tapos hindi ka pa rin sigurado. Uh, Brad, ayoko ayoko kasi na baka plano ko lang ito eh. I want to make sure Lord kung gusto mo I want to make sure I think this is the prayer of the leper kung gusto mo Bakit? May possibility ba na ayaw ni Lord? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Di ba? Hallelujah. How many of us know? How many of us will know kung ayaw ni Lord? Hallelujah. Malalaman mo yan if you have a deeper relationship with God. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Deeper relationship. Yung ang inaalam mo lang. Lord, gusto mo ba ito? Plano mo ba? Sa topic kasi na guidance, if, kung nag-GSS na kayo, maaalala ninyo ito. Sa topic na guidance, hallelujah, binabanggit po doon na Kung ikaw ay nagplano na. Nagplano ka na eh. Gusto mo nang pumunta ng Amerika eh. Like this man from Cebu, I am telling you. Tama, may plano siya. Pero sinasabi niya kay Lord, i-reject mo yung plano ko. Kung hindi ayon sa kalooban mo. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God. You know, when we make plans for our life, which is not wrong, we need to give God the authority. You need to give Jesus the authority. What? To reject your plans. To change your plans. To shelve your plans. You must give him that authority very explicitly. Mahirap ba gawin yun? Mahirap po. <laughs> ang alin, ang alin, ulitin ko. Ulitin ko, alin na mahirap? Gumawa ka ng plano? May, eh, uh, uh, meron kang plano sa buhay? Meron ka ng pinaplano? Meron ka ng ambisyon? Ilalapit mo sa Diyos tapos sasabihin mo, Lord, Lord, you can reject this if you want to. Mahirap yun. <laughs> ano? Papana, papana, papana para maging madali. Ah, uh, ewan ko lang kung mas mahirap itong sasabihin ko. <laughs> Paano maging madali yun? Eh, di ba ka na magplano? 
Wala ka nang ihaharap kay Lord, wala ka nang tatanungin, ire-reject mo ba ito o hindi mo ire-reject? Abandon yourself completely to God and He is the one who will make a plan for your life. Isang araw, ng time member sa New Jersey, yung anak, valedictorian, sabi ko sa aking asawa, di ba nagtataka siya? Hindi ko sabi yung pangalan. Di ba siya nagtataka? Paano siya nagkaroon ng anak na gano'n? <laughs> Sabi ng misis ko, ikaw naman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ano? Praise be to God. Ano? Tanungin mo nga sa kanya kung did you ask God to give me a valedictorian child? He did not ask God. Bakit ako sigurado doon? Eh, kilala ko yung tao eh. Aral. Aral love plak eh. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng aral? Aral love plak. Hindi na nagpaplano. Kasi alam na alam natin eh. Mas maganda ang mga plano ng Diyos para sa atin. Magpaplano ka, pagpipilitan mo pa. Magpaplano ka, yung pananampalataya mo nakaangkla doon sa plano mo. Hindi nakaangkla sa Diyos. Papakabait ka, nagdadasal ka, nagpapakabuti ka, nagsaserve ka. But at the back of your mind, there is this plan, there is this ambition that you want God to obtain for you. Am I talking about something bad or wrong? Of course not. Sabi ko nga sa anak ko nung isang araw, ayun pa pa naikwento ko na ito last week. Sabi niya, Dad, pupun- ano kaya magiging vaccine namin? Eh kasi yung mga anak ko po nasa akin lahat dito sa Mindoro. Pero umalis sila. Lahat sila, kaming dalawa lang mag-asawa na iwan. Bakit? May vaccine sa tagig. Sabi niya, Dad, sana ang maibigay sa aming vaccine yung ganito. Sabi ko, Did you pray for it? Oh, Dad. Uy. Magbibigyan ni Lord kayo yan. Kung yan ang maganda para sa inyo, bakit naman hindi niya pagbibigyan yan? Eh alam, sana anak, maalala mo yung kinikwento ko sa'yo. May kinwento kasi ako dun sa anak ko eh. Ano? Tungkol kay Father Austria ko. Si Father Austria ko nag-presenta, nag-present na position He is a molecular scientist. Pero pare, Pilipino. So, the, the CBCP, Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, uh, uh, plenary, on a plenary meeting, invited him to talk on this pandemic and COVID. And, ang dami niyang good news na binalita. A far cry from wala nang... Ma- Wala nang binabalita palagi yung bad news. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> ano? Hallelujah. Yung alam mo pag mahili ka sa bad news, hallelujah, biktima ka lagi ng fake news. <laughs> Noon, kay Father Austria ako, may nagtanong na isang bishop. Father, level with us. Ano ba pinakamagandang vaccine? Sabi nung pare, uh, my dear bishop, 
the best vaccine is what is available to you anytime, anywhere, any place. Whatever is available, that is the best vaccine. Sabi ng pare! <laughs> Hallelujah. Medyo may tama din ako nun eh. Sabi ko, oo oh, nga naman. Amen. Tapos sinundan pa nung pare, do not trust the vaccine. Trust God. Pati vaccine ba naman, magdidikta pa tayo sa Diyos kung ano dapat, ang, anong, gusto, anong gusto natin. Bakit naman hindi natin siya bigyan ng laya? Lord, ikaw mamili para sa amin. Ikaw naman ang pagkakatiwalaan namin eh. Hindi yung vaccine. I like the prayer of this leper. If you will, Lord, you will heal me. Ulitin ko. <laughs> I like this part sa guidance talk. Para hindi ka mahirapan. Diba? Ulitin ko. Ano ba yung mahirap? Mahirap eh. Magpa-plano kami. Mga ambisyon ka. Tapos eh, ipipresenta mo kay Lord. <laughs> Tapos, ano mahirap doon? Ano mahirap doon? Mahirap gayahin yung ginawa ng Tikasibo. Bakit ano yung ginawa ng Tikasibo? Lord, ito yung plano namin. Pero kung ayaw mo, i-reject mo, Lord. <laughs> mahirap yon. Of course, mahirap yon. Nandun na yung puso mo. Nandun na yung isip mo. Nandun na yung future mo. Nandun na yung plano mo. Tunga, excited na excited na kayo. Tapos pag pinresenta mo kay Lord, sasabihin mo, i-reject mo kaya ito Lord, pag hindi ayon ah, sa kalooban mo. Di ba, hirap nun? Gusto mo maging madali? <laughs> This is what I learned in the many years I was in the palm of God's hand. You know, I, 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 I live, I live for many years. Maybe eight or nine years. Or, I, hindi, hindi ko na mas, masyado mabilang. Where, where I live on a day-to-day -day basis. Paano yun? Yung give us this day our daily bread. Nasubukan ko po yun, naranasan ko po yun, literally. For eight long years, or sometimes, I think nine. Literally. Bakit literally? Bibigyan ako ng pera ni Lord para sa araw na ito. Eksaktong eksakto lang yun. Hanggang sa baon ng mga anak ko, na maliit na baon lang. Eh. Masa may baon lang. Kinamagahan. Tapos wala na ulit akong pera no. Bibigyan na naman ako ni Lord. Araw-araw. <laughs> Pag hindi pa naman lumalim ang relasyon mo sa Diyos no, eh, di ba? Araw-araw kayo nagkikita. Araw-araw kayo nag-iisip. Araw-araw kang inaabutan. Hallelujah. Misa na abutan niya ako ng limang libo. Oh, sabi ko, laki nito Lord. Ha? Bakit limang libo? Yung pala, maya-maya lang. Andiyan na yung anak ko. Andiyan na yung maniningil. Andiyan na yung babayaran. Hallelujah. Ang babayaran ko pala, 4,893. Lahat-lahat. Meron pa naman sobrang 7 pesos. I have lived with that. Kaya nga nahihiya ako eh. Bakit? 68 na ako eh. Ba't ako nahihiya? Eh, <laughs> minsan wala akong pera. Medyo, medyo, ah, tumitibok-tibok kong puso ko. L Lord, paano ba ito? Wala na akong pera. Ano? Nahihiya ako. Nahihiya ako. Bakit? Ba ngayon pa, ngayon pa ako nakakabahan. Pero hindi naman talaga na mawala yung kabay. Eh. Para saan yun? Para humingi tayo kay Lord ng pananampalataya. Like the apostles who prayed, Lord, increase our faith. That prayer will be a perpetual prayer for all of us followers of Christ. But let us emulate this leper. 
Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lakas. Lakas ang dating ng leper na to. Ba't malakas? Lakas ng pananampalataya. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, Plan man tayo dapat talaga ikatakot eh. Makulit lang tayo. Lagi tayong tatakot. <laughs> Nakakaranas mo pa ako dyan ng mga kabakaba. Kabak oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, Sumusundot-sundot. Kinakabakabahan ka. Pero, um, hindi naman ako bumibigay. Ano ba ibig sabihin ko nung bumibigay sa kaba? Pag bumigay ka sa kaba, uh, mainit na ulo mo nun. <laughs> Ano? May nitaon naman nun. Sungit ka. Pag ano? Pag ano? Pag bumibigay ka doon sa kaba. Kaya, dapat lagi mong naririnig. Sabi ni Lord, do not be afraid. Mga apostol, ganun din naman, di ba? Nagpakain sila ng liman libo sa limang tinapay, dalawang isda. Tapos nung uh, in another, uh, in another uh, uh, situation, ang papakainin nila, 4,000, ta takot na naman sila. Sabi nila, Lord, paano natin papakainin to 4,000, sabi, sabi ni Lord. Ano ba kayo? 5,000 pinakain natin. Ngayon ko pa natatakot sa 4,000. <laughs> Oo nga. Ganon din kakulit yung ating pananampalataya, di ba? I want you to smile kung ganyan din kakulit ang pananampalataya natin. Because we can be like the apostles. Like the disciples. Who? Who? Will have a change of heart when the Lord speaks to them, rebukes them, and teaches them. Hallelujah. Let us go with the Lord through the desert. Bakit through the desert? Eh, doon dumaan sila, di ba? Sila Moses. Doon sila dumaan sa desert. 40 years. The journey traveled for 40 years to reach promised land. Meron naman shortcut eh. Today, if you measure... Egypt going to Israel on a straight line maglakad ka 11 days lang <laughs> bakit sila 40 years desert naman <laughs> hallelujah uh, praise be to God because they were, be they were being cleansed God was taking the opportunity to lift up their faith to change their lives so that they will see rivers in the desert. They will trek, trek to a roadway in the desert. And then they will see miracles. Then there will be, there will be miracles left and right. Because God is not just the not just making a way for you. Jesus is the way. How can things go wrong? Kaya, pwede tayo maglakas loob eh. What? Drop, drop all your plans. Surrender it to God. And tell the Lord, kung gusto mo Lord, Mas maganda ang ibigay mo sa aking plano. Kung gusto mo, Lord, <laughs> you will make a way. Especially when there seems to be no way. He will show you because He is the way. God remains 
go away Murder seems to be nowhere He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my Hold me close to His side With love and strength For its new day He will make a way He will make a way Look at what happened! Let's make it our prayer! God will make a way when there seems to be no way seems to be no way He works in ways He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way He will make a way
Wala na ang problema mo. 